Water. Turn on the faucet and out it flows, right? Well, consider this. All the water on Earth is already on Earth. And yet around the globe, water shortages are becoming more and more common. Things like booming populations, drought, and fewer viable water options mean that our resources are drying up. So what does that mean to you and me? Well, we can't increase our water supply, but we can decrease our demand. As a landscape designer, water conservation is one of my top priorities, especially when you consider 50 to 70% of all household consumption of water is used in the landscape. Now there is something as a homeowner that you can do, many things, to conserve water in the garden. I don't have to tell you what a tragic waste of water this is. And yes, there is a simple, inexpensive solution. Installing the correct sprinkler heads. The people at your local hardware store or garden center should be able to help you find the right heads for your system. Better yet, take out that expanse of grass that typically requires more water than anything else in the landscape and replace it with native or drought tolerant plants. These are plants that can survive, even thrive in drier soils. And whenever possible, use drip irrigation systems. That way, small amounts of water are delivered directly to the root zone so that you use 30 to 70% less water than conventional sprinklers. Raised planters are another great way to get water efficiency. And the reason for that is you're putting the water just where it needs to be, in the raised planter. It's also a great solution to group your plants with the same water needs. So again, you plant them in the raised planter. Once those plants are watered, mulch, mulch, mulch. Organic mulches like fir bark, leaves, pine needles, and compost conserve moisture in the soil. They control weeds and they prevent erosion and add nutrients to the soil. Even inorganic mulches like glass or rubber slow down the evaporation process significantly. The bonus, they look great in the landscape. One more thing. Let Mother Nature work for you by turning off the irrigation system when it's seasonally appropriate. Plants need less water in the winter months. The bottom line, a water smart landscape is a practical solution oriented approach to saving water at home. Think hardscape when it comes to water conservation. An outdoor patio or room, far more functional for having people over, entertaining, sitting by the fire, far better than a big patch of lawn that has to be mowed and watered and taken care of. Don't be a drip. Practice water conservation.